As a huge fan of the program, I wasted no time in watching the premiere of F Season 6 Part 1 of The Crown. However, I felt compelled to address the question of whether or not the program accurately depicted historical events, as this is something that everyone sometimes questions. I feel obligated to tell you something before we get into the meat of Season 6. When reporting events to the public, The Crown has, on the whole, been rather forthright. Character dialogue and whatever else transpired within has always been a work of fiction, nevertheless. We need to remember that at all times. For instance, the events that transpired in the apartment only hours before Diana and Dodie passed away remain a mystery to this day. Was a marriage proposal really discussed? All of the speech is made up. Now we may examine if the Netflix drama correctly depicted Diana's last weeks. It is Diana and Dodie shared a passionate kiss after arguing over the warmth of Dodie's lips, which is a renowned moment in the first act. The program implies that the photographer was recruited by Dodie's father, who also provided him with the location of the boat. However, the actual photographer claims that absolutely did not occur. Brenna said in an interview that the notion that Dodie's dad employed him was all made up. It would seem that nobody told him that. As chance would have it, he saw Diana and Dodie on his annual summer trip to Sardinia to take shots of other celebrities. But that's another tale if you don't want to accept his word for it. Diana did appear for photos in a bikini with leopard print and performed an impromptu chat with reporters. Even though the program doesn't make the exact timing very clear, this occurred four days before to Camilla's birthday. She reportedly told the reporters that she was being followed and assaulted while wearing the bikini. The program did a decent job of covering the occasion since Diana posed for images leading up to the celebration and was featured regularly in newspapers and tabloids. I also noticed that the portrayal of Charles was much different from previous seasons, which was an odd development. They must have paid Peter Morgan to make Charles seem quite amiable. As the mob gathers around Diana's lifeless corpse, they see him sobbing uncontrollably. While he seems to be alone in the room on screen, Diana's sisters really accompanied him. His crimson eyes were reportedly the result of their approximately 10 minutes stay there. Although not a single sound of wailing could be detected. Obviously, the situation on the program was a little dramatic, but I think Charles was sad and remorseful following Diana's death. Beyond that, wasn't it worse? After Diana's first visit to Centrape in the first episode, there was a moment I would have liked to see, the Gianni vs. Burial. Attending his burial on July 22, 1997, Diana sat beside Elton John. In terms of pop culture, it was a major event. The private security officer who looked after Dodie said in his biography that Diana was shocked to hear about Gianni's death and traveled all the way to Milan to be there for the burial. I was hoping for this to happen in season 6, but alas, it never materialized. Because there was too much plot to cover in only 4 episodes, I'll keep this brief. However, if you're interested in finding out whether the other events shown in the show's last season were correct, I'll be happy to do a part 2. In your opinion, how was this season? Was there a decline in the show's quality? Please let me know in the comments below. So guys before winding up remember to like subscribe and thanks for watching.